there's a lot of colours on that table. Welcome. There's a lot of colours on this table. It's like the colours of the rainbow. Welcome back to Anderton's TV, everybody. Hello. Uh, I'm uh, the captain. I'm Dennis Peaton. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to watch any more silly videos. Please click, click on the pop up and up in the left hand corner, right hand corner, right hand corner. It depends which, which uh, yeah. whether you're watching your television in a mirror or not. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, uh, today we are looking at some new pedals from a company called Amplitude. Amplitude, yes. if you're uh, not familiar, is one of the most widely used and downloaded um, amp yes. sim and guitar effects uh, pieces of software that you might put onto your computer um, or your tablet or whatever. Um, and these are, I think, the first foray from uh, Amplitude into making standalone pedals. And they absolutely are standalone pedals, and that's how we'll be demonstrating them. Yes, um, this is all we know what, how to do. <laughs> Yeah, but they are also, they can also be used as um, controllers for Amplitude 5. Um, and I think there's a sort of a sense that maybe if you use Amplitude 5 at home and then you want to start going gigging, you can kind of like just pick up your Amplitude rig and have it on a floorboard. But that's not where we're going. I think these as standalone pedals hold up very well. Um, they're very fully featured. so. Each color represents a different sort of genre or type mm -hmm. of, of effect. So we've got overdrives here, we've got uh, modulation effects here, delay effects here, and reverb effects here. Um, each pedal is full MIDI spec, uh, USB. The drive pedal has cabinet simulation if you want to use it like that. Uh, but I'm very familiar. Yeah, the simplicity of it all I rather like. So each pedal has 16. Um, base points, if you like, sort of reference points, if you like, that, that a starting point for a type of an effect. Yeah. And then once you're once you've selected that basic type, you've got a a set of uh, very immediate um, parameters that you would probably typically find on a pedal. So if we go to you know the drive ones, drive, bass, mid, treble, and volume are always accessible. Easy. Um, on the delay one, you know, time, feedback, uh, filter, modulation, you know, Easy. really accessible. And then there's this thing called parameter, and that's uh, a much deeper dive into the type of um, parameters that you might uh, find, perhaps if you were using a more sort of software orientated version of that effect. So we're probably not going to go too deep into the parameters now, um, and we're not going to be able, there's six, as I said, 16 in each of those, so what's that, 64 different kinds of effects at my fingertips here, so we're not going to like get... Four and a half hours worth of... Yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> we're not going to get anywhere near that. But so I thought what I'd do is just pick out, you know, three or four of the interesting drive sounds, same on modulation, same on tape yeah. and reverb, and just see. Taster. These are selling for about £250 each. <laughs> so, you know, I guess, you know, you're going to sort of look at that and say, is it like, um, you know, is it a very affordable version of like a Strymon um, timeline or a Mobius or something like that? Yeah. Um, they remind me of the old Line 6. They do, don't with the they? colors, not not yeah. with the display and stuff, but with the colors, sort of the old uh, DL4. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's the we still sell that. Too. Still a good pedal. Oh, is there? Anyway, oh, is there? so I have elected on the drive sound of things. You, you, I'd, hopefully on close-up cam, you can see just underneath the display, and I haven't taken the film off the display, so apologies if that looks a bit crinkly on there, but you crinkly. can see these sort of 16 different types of drive, so modern metal, uh, mono, cat, whatever cat stands for, who knows. Uh, cat. Green, I'm guessing is Tube Screamer, that's where we've started, sort of in my safe place. <laughs> Um, got fuzzes, boosts, octaves, all kinds of stuff on there. So now, the way this works is you can either just use the um, mo model button, sorry, across the top to, to, to squeeze through them like that. Or if you want to see what uh, amplitude we've done with the presets, uh, hold these two buttons down to go up a bank, these two buttons to go down a bank, and then you've basically got three presets. I love a good bank one. I love well, a good bank. Please. Is that a good bank? NatWest. Uh, interestingly, actually, on uh, the, the blue one, the functionality is the same, and the green one and the yellow one, uh, your third button here is always a tap tempo button rather than another preset. And not on the... Oh, of course, not on the, the, the spring. Why would a, a reverb have a tap tempo? Doesn't have, no. Before we start, I'm playing a GNL uh, ASAT. 
and we're into two victory amps. So somebody did say using a victory a lot, so we should uh, sort of branch out. We just we like, were, they're we good, like, clean amps for, for, for pedals, demonstrating pedals. For pedals, you can't beat it. Or at least these two are. Yeah. Uh, yes, you're, Pete is completely right. We have full stereo goodness. So the guitar, the drive pedal comes out in mono into the uh, X vibe, and then we go stereo, 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 and into two amplifiers, yeah. just for fun. And for those who are going, what's that little orange thing? There's a Lele P split, which is just making sure that we are in phase, and the signal is yeah. we don't have any ground loop. <laughs> Jupiter? Not sure what Jupiter. I mean, I've heard of Jupiter fuzz. But, oh, by the way, the reverb is always coming from a spring reverb setting that I've got on the uh, X space. Yeah, Jupiter. No, sounds, sounds good. There's always somebody who goes, "Oh, that's this pedal." Oh, when will you read be. the comments, it like, absolutely oh, yeah, of will be. So. But I can't, Sorry. for the life of me, think what that might be. Okay, heavy. <laughs> Broken. Another Mar planet's name. Mars. Was it Marshall? Marshall could be. Not too bad. Light. Light. Driven. Solar. Last bank, just for the sake of it, metal. Oh, this is, these are all gonna be metal. So let's maybe. What do you got there, UK soft. UK rock. I mean, obviously, there's hours and hours of doing that. I mean, it's um, 16, you said? Or four banks? 16, no, right. 16 different kinds of pedal effects yeah. that you can then edit. 50 um, banks, I think, for wow. you to, to create your... So, obviously, dozens and dozens of different... Uh, wow, that's... And, every, you know, hope maybe, maybe you've worked that out already. Every change that you make stores it to the presets. So, okay, all right. You know, you, your, your drive and all those different settings are completely programmable. I see. Full MIDI, as I said at the beginning. Um, I think, you, you know, my, my, my sort of gut feeling with these is everything is about expectations, isn't it? If, if your board has two or three analog drive pedals that you've spent 250 quid on each each then you know maybe you're sort of sitting there going home oh, is it not quite that sort of juiciness of the but if you just accept that this is you know 250 quid for 16 different pedals true. 16 different drive it's pedals true. with midi and all the other stuff it's in true. there and you sort of factor this in you're not you know you're paying like you know 10 15 quid a pedal yeah it's crazy, crazy good value. And I think it sounds fine. I think it sounds... Yeah, okay. I mean, if you tweak a little bit on it, you know, I think you need to, again... Always tweak. The, 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 the presets are always a little bit sort of underwhelming, I think, in... in, in or it's the other way, Not actually. Rather than underwhelming, what you mean is they're overwhelming. Like, as in... It's too much, yeah. too much. It's almost too much. The gain is, like, too much. Where's the tube yeah. screamer with just a tiny bit of gain? And I just that's want, like, little, I want yeah. a little bit, just, it's just a touch. <laughs> Go back to, what is that, UK soft, just yeah. like... It's just too if much. I if I take the drive... It's okay, you might just need presents to take off or whatever. Um, so just 
touching on that point, yeah. here is a green pedal with literally almost all the gain off and just a very flat EQ, and it's it's very usable. Turn it off, please. Up a little bit more treble, a little bit more gain. Okay, man. That's what I'm saying. That's, so that's you, all right, yeah. you tweak it, you find it. Yeah. There's tons in there. Yeah. Um, let's just do the that's same basic sound. thing in in the uh, the X5. So this is all about modulations. You can see you've got choruses, vibes, phasers, um, doublers, rotaries, tremolos, slicers, filters, the whole bit. Uh, those last two bits sound like something you'd need in the kitchen. Um, Slice and a filter. And it works the same way, basically. So these two buttons together is bank up and these two is banked down. Oof. The only difference now is you've only got A and B on each setting, and then this is a tap tempo okay. control. Let's have a bit of Jimmy. And it's called Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you went through, ever since digital became a thing back in the 80s, how many guitar manufacturers have called a patch Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. And I suppose there's nothing anyone can do Jim about Dricks. it. But imagine if Jimmy had managed to somehow trademark his name and ask for 10p every time it was used. The estate would have made a fortune. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. This is random, so. Oh, there's the. Uh... VH90. Oh, I mean, for sure. Uh, but I think when it kicks into stereo. Oh, spinner. Oh, you can tap the tempo on that one. Oh, okay. I will. They sound good, these. I think you can set the tempo on most of it. Mistake, I like that. I, I'm inclined to say your reminds me a bit of line six is very astute because that's that sort of you know, those old four pedal things yeah. that you and they were very basic. So I think you could only ever program four different presets. Yeah, you had. And it was quite. I think the, the overdrive had three. I've got the overdrive right. but somewhere. It, used but it. it's sort of. They were not so much the drive ones, but the, the more unusual ones, like the filter one and the delay one, were very popular because yeah. it was a lot of different delay options yeah. all in one yeah. very simple to use pedal. Bear in mind, I've not done anything here to mess around with the presets. No, so I'm, I'm almost going to take back what we said about the presets in the drive, in that these are actually these all are good. quite useful. Yeah. Rotary now. That's a good list. Take back to the slow one. Oh, it does ramp up. Nice. Uh, that was tremolo. Nice. Hey, 
Yeah, left, right, left, right. You know, you know what we didn't do? We, we, we skipped all the choruses. So let's just quickly get back to like bank five. Does this do something if I hold them both down? No, I've got to just... Uh, I've that's had many a bit banks annoying, in my isn't it? So right. here's the chorus. Yeah, me Look, too. That's, that's a good one. That's a good battle. I, I, yeah. I would give that a sort of a, you know. Eight out of ten? No, seven out of ten. Out of but seven. just because of the price, 249 yeah. again. Yeah, 249. You know, really? I, I know I'm going to let's let you know what would a what, what's a snobby chorus pedal now a snobby chorus yeah, pedal like a, a Wazacraft CE2 100 and 180 quid, quid yeah. like that. that's a good chorus pedal it's though. a great chorus pedal but you know when you think about it yeah you're right it's like crazy good value isn't it now anyway yes, when you say snob it's the same as having the right badge on your car isn't it oh and I'm that guy don't get me wrong um, so but I'm just you know sometimes I don't want to be that guy but but yeah, right. it is what it is. Um, right, <laughs> here we go over here. So hang on, let's just get back to this. Right, so bank zero. So same again, got tape echoes, uh, digital echoes, ping pongs, reverse ones, reverse ping pong. Um, seen that. You've seen, seen that. that Swell, ducking, pitch shifting, harmonizing, well. dirty slap back. Uh, that's two different effects rather than um, a crime. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, anyway, let's just see where we go here. I suspect this will be good as well. All the mix in settings it. on the presets for the reverb and the delay are all too set too high for my taste. You yeah, know? so it's I, too much. You know, it's just, it, but it's so simple just to quickly yeah. knock it back. I'm becoming Tom Midge all of a sudden. I should just say, if you are watching this just using your phone and listening to the speaker button to the phone, you're doing yourself a real disservice on this particular video. Although in yeah. fairness, that is how I watch almost all the videos exactly. I watch on YouTube. So. But yes, if you've got headphones or some stereo speakers, you'll enjoy this a lot more. Wet Lush, uh, and then I think we'll move on. It's like a shimmer effect. Great nice. ones, yeah, yeah, it? yeah. Okay, so I like that, like that, like that. I'm, like I'm going to say right now, it's it's almost like the, the the yellow one and the green one are 
really cool. The overdrives is the same with the with the Line Six one. I didn't really. I used one for a tour, but mm. it still ne was never uh, really there. Multi effect overdrive pedals. It's is the digital. digital. It's digital, isn't it? I mean, I, I just think we're so as guitar players so kind of sensitive around the sort of analog signal path of a, of a drive tone a and the way things click. It's a click. feeling thing. Yeah. For me, it's a feeling thing. Mm. But hey I'd rather ho, get, but I, For me, I'd rather get a couple of, like a Durpal and some, and, uh, like a couple of cheap overdrive yep. pedals and yep. you never use 16 um, overdrive pedals. So the last one then, the X-Space, uh, which again has tons of different reverbs, shimmers, halls, rooms, chambers. In fact, think of a size of room and it's probably on here. And then, you know, reversing uh, extreme ethereal, bloom. And uh, and magnetic. Okay, well, let's see what magnetic so is. So what did I? Where am I on this? Let's just get. That's definitely a chamber. Sounds like a chamber I've been logged in for <laughs> some time. Chain. Hughes Jackman. It's a bit over the top, this one, isn't it? <laughs> Hughes Jackman. Let's find some more units. This is the one that I basically was using for... for the Summer. I think the, the, the mix yeah, again sounds is... sounds summer. Swell. Follower. Swelled reverb. Follower. Bath, I was there on the weekend. Stuck in traffic. Flower that blooms. Uh, Magnet. Sorry, I'm just whizzing through them here. Ghosts. Like ghosts. Wouldn't that be funny if you just went, and it went, boo! Like that. That would be funny. Suckers. Well, tiny. <laughs> yeah, so long and tiny. And then the binary as well. So long, um, tiny. I'm going to the I, binary. You know, it's funny, isn't it? I'm, I'm quite particular about my reverbs, and I, I, no. I think on the whole, I quite like spending the extra bit of money to really lose myself in something crazy good like it's a lot of good reverbs out there like a strymony or a gfie kind of thing yeah which is the we gfi should... similar money to that though isn't it it's about 200 quid 209.59 i think it's a bit Two, more yeah. than that. not the big the, one i'm talking the, the new the new orca. oh yeah the, the orca, orca is the walker's 199 there you go yeah but then that's not midi and not programmable and all that true. kind of stuff it's just true just... that but i i Look, I have to say, you know, first impressions of these pedals, and yeah. this, literally this demo is our first one, is the yellow and the green one, I'm, I, I think sounded really good. So that's the, modulation and delay, right? Yeah, I just yeah. thought they didn't, I'm not listening to either of these going, oh yeah, you know, if, if you buy the Strymon one, you know, you get something better. I mean, I just think they sounded great. Yeah, I mean, um, that's a comparison video, isn't it? If you want to do yeah. Big Sky versus the... And then, and then both of these two, I kind of go, they're all right. And I think you kind of have to sort of accept that they're 250 quid and you get a 
bucket load of stuff for your money, but they're not necessarily the route that I want to go down if I'm looking for the best sounding stuff that I can possibly get. It's a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds for all four. I mean, that's... And they um, need a pedal board to put them on and you're, you're away. Yeah. We tried, albeit not for very long, you know, for about five minutes on the internet to find out um, what the exact power requirements of these pedals were as to whether or not we could I run mean, them off of a power supply or not. Million, yeah. I don't know. We couldn't. It was that, this, is, this is like the new world where the printed manual that you get is very much a quick start guide and then everything else you've got to go and try and find on the internet. Uh, and uh, I was struggling. But the, the power supplies that come with them yes. are about a thousand milliamps. Um, if you could please, IK Multimedia, just confirm in the comments section what is the milliampage requirement of each pedal, because you might be able to use a multi-supply, yep. or you might... The power supplies come with them, by the way, so it's not yeah, like it's a water, but yeah. I don't know if you want to have to have four things plugged in, assuming people it buy It's really cool, and have a, a two expression pedals, maybe volume and a wah for them. I'm sure there's one of them that can, that's got expression. That's a good shout, can, can you? Expression on that one, and that one, and that one. So, oh, and that one! Holy moly! See? So um, that it's got, if it has all that media and all that stuff yeah, in it, yeah. it'll be able to do I mean, I that. was kind of feeling like the, 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 the inside buttons here, or the outside buttons, are a little bit too close together for that on a board, so you'd probably have to just go a bit further apart. Yes, but then I was saying in two layers, right? Oh, I I'm see. saying two. So we've got two on each layer, and then two volume. Or you do, or, and you do no. it all via MIDI anyway, so you just don't... Hey, look! I'm, yeah, but then you have to have a switch and all sorts of stuff. No, what I mean is just have one you know? of these pedals as the controller, and everything else just look. Whew. Hey, I'm really not Mr. Whew. MIDI, that's for sure. Whew. But um, M1D1. So that was it. Yeah, uh, there we are. Amplitude X series pedals. Quick. Oh, is it quick? I don't know. Sort of like a relatively quick review given hours, that we've gone through then, yeah. uh, four <laughs> pedals that have got tons of stuff in them. Uh, they're all right. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Whatever that means. Oh, yeah. 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 So turn them on, like, on the drive and some stuff there just to play out. Drive and... Uh...